Hey guys, welcome to a level two algebra prep viewer question. Now, if you do have any questions that you want answered, you can send it to me on my socials or on my email, which is listed in the description. Also, make sure to check out the website, uh, which has plenty of resources uh, for your revision for level two algebra and calculus. All right, so let's get going with this question. What we have with this question is that uh, we've got a quadratic equation and it says find all values of n in terms of m. So the first thing I want to do is I want to write this as a quadratic equation. So I'm going to write down uh, 9n squared minus 8mn. And if I bring the minus m squared to this side, it is going to become minus m squared equals to 0. Now, some of you guys here might be able to see the pattern straight away and then be able to factorize it at this point. Um, you know, and I think that comes with practice, lots and lots of practice with quadratics to realize this pattern up here. I will show you guys what it looks like towards the end but let's say you don't actually see the pattern how do you go about solving something like this well the way we're going to treat it is we're going to treat this as a quadratic right so we're going to do ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero so in other words what we're going to do is we're going to treat uh, n here as x all right i hope you guys can see that so that means what I can then do is the a value is going to be 9. The b value is going to be negative 8m. All right, I'm actually, I have to increase, sorry, include the m in this case. And finally, the c value is going to be negative m squared. All right, so by doing this, what I've done is I've got a is equal to 9, b equals to minus 8, and c equals minus m squared and i've just realized that i've actually forgotten something there uh, b should be negative 8m okay so once we've got this uh, now we're going to use the quadratic formula so we got x equals to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a the thing is we're not trying to figure out x i'm going to get rid of that and then replace it with n so then n is equal to minus b is negative of negative 8m plus or minus square root of negative 8m squared. So far so good. Minus 4 times 9 times negative m squared. And all of that is over 2 times 9. So now working inside the brackets there, negative of negative 8m is positive 8m plus or minus negative 8m squared is 64m squared plus we've got 9 times 4 which is 36 and those two negatives cancel out so we've got 36m squared over 18 and we kind of keep going on so we've got 8m plus or minus square root of 100m squared divided by 18 still keep going plus or minus now square root of 100 m squared is 10 m over 18 so we've actually got two answers for n we've got 8 m plus 10 m over 18 or 8 m minus 10 m over 18 so our two answers for m we've got 18 m over 18 or negative 2 m over 18 so we can finally say therefore n is equal to m or negative m over 9. So those are our, our two answers for n in terms of m. Okay, so this is actually using the quadratic formula to try and solve this. Now, as I said to you guys at the start of this video, if you had actually seen the pattern, then you can just factorize it straight away. And uh, as I said to you before, these kind of pattern recognition comes only from doing a lot of lot of these questions. All right. So let's, so yeah, this is the answer and I'm going to show you the other method of doing it now. So the other method of doing this was when I went from here, uh, I can see that this is 9n squared minus 8mn minus m squared equals to zero. Now, I know for a fact um, that the last two terms here has got to be m by itself. Um, and the reason is because I've got m times m equals m squared and one of them is going to be positive and one of them is going to be negative 
and the reason for that is because plus times minus is minus all right so that's pretty much how um, that's one step of it now the next step is this looking at that n squared all right if I look at the n squared there then I know that there's got to be an n here and an n here because that n times n is going to be n squared so the only thing that I'm missing is the middle term here and I know that this side here has to be 9 and the reason I know that it's 9 is because if I do uh, just trying to find colors here if I do 9n times n I will get 9n squared but the key thing is looking for that inside term the inside term is minus 8mn so if I do 9n times minus m I'm gonna get negative 9mn plus these two things here which is mn which equals to 8mn so that's how I know this formula is correct now once that's done I can rewrite it as 9m 9n plus m multiplied by n minus m equals to 0 so then I've got 9 n plus m equals to 0 or n minus m equals to 0 so n in this case is m and then in this case 9 n equals negative m and n is equal to 9 negative m divided by 9 and as you guys can see uh, yep right there at the bottom both of these answers are the same so sorry I'm just gonna go back to it working there so that's what I mean by recognizing quadratic patterns and you can kind of mess around with it um, anyway that's basically it for this question guys you can do this question in either way use the quadratic formula or you can do the factorizing method as well it's absolutely fine yes, that's basically it for this video as always don't forget to like this video and share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content uh, please do share this video around as a lot of people don't realize this resource is actually available um, and as always there should be some playlists popping up check them out good revision material and thank you for watching